I'm Arun Singh. With me is Bai Chung Bhutia, who's been on the jury, and he has a great task at hand. Uh, what, was, what was it like when you were, you know, going through different categories, and then you had to vote? Bit nervous because a uh, lot of things which I'm not uh, expert on. You but, can't be uh, nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was tough. It was good. Uh, at the end, I think it went smoothly. It went smoothly. Any one category that really that you felt stuck with or? Uh, quite a few, but medicine was, I think, was was the difficult one. Okay. Uh, I think everybody had great work done, uh, and I think that that category I find I found it a little difficult. Have you been following sports? Uh, I mean, we, because we have have we have so many sports persons also here in this uh, category as well. Have you been following them? What has been your analysis? Uh, yes, I think I've been following every one of them who have been nominated here, and I think every. In, uh, each and every individual sports person who are nominated are, are in fact a true legend themselves. Mm. Uh, but a few are still uh, uh, still uh, active sports person and one or two had, uh, has retired. Mm. But overall, I think the contribution what they've given to their particular sports and to country is, is immense. And you know, when we're talking about true legends, uh, you are of course one true legend of course because you've been the torch bearer of Indian football in the international arena and uh, you've also done social service, uh, a little bit of governance and, and there's so much uh, to you when it comes to, you know, when we define true legend, of course, we can easily put you that, in that kind of, uh, you know, uh, titles. What, how do you define true legend? I think it's about contribution to the society and making a big difference, making a big impact and also uh, I think uh, giving that uh, hope uh, and also inspiring uh, other people uh, to do something good. Uh, so I think true legend is just not only about your self-performance and achievement but also beyond that, uh, you know, coming down and doing your own other things in terms of social work uh, and inspiring and uh, changing lives for a lot of people who are not that privileged. Sure, and you know, there's always one defining moment in every legend's career or life. Can you tell us one defining moment of your life where you thought, okay, like this is massive? Uh, not that I'm still trying to make uh, that big impact. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, if, if you want to do, you know, for me, I think after my football retirement, I wanted to do a lot of work, just not for sports, but apart from sports, and that's why I. Come, come into politics and some, this is something which you can do a bigger, larger scale of social, great social work uh, in, in a true, honest, transparent uh, and, and, and in a very fair and uh, uh, in a nice, honest way. I think that's what, uh, you know, I think India right now goes through a lot of challenges in terms of having clean, good political, uh, you know, leaders. So I think that's where uh, every policies are made through the government and government is made through, uh, you know, choice by the people through political parties. So I think we need to bring in that changes in, in, in political parties and political people so that there are good, clean people coming uh, and serving the people in right manner. 100% and taking cue from what you said, it's so important to have, you know, people who've already made impact to come into governance. Uh, do you think sports has an advantage in that way because there's so many youngsters which are glued to these, you know, sports series and they are very, you know, very much attracted also to, towards this field. So do you think it becomes a little easier for sports people and hence they should definitely take I, advantage of that? I think sports people should come into politics is one of the main reason is I think the success in sports is through sh sheer hard work, dedication and sincerity what you put into your sport. And that is what I think they would bring into it. You can't achieve success in sports with shortcuts. Hmm. Uh, so I think you, we need that kind of uh, political leaders uh, coming and doing politics with that sincerity, honesty and, and transparency. Hmm. And I think uh, I strongly feel that a sports person with whatever discipline they've gone through their life uh, in, 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 in the way they've dedicated to their sports and worked hard, uh, I think they are going to, you know, become a good leader or leaders, I think, uh, for, for just not for state, but the country as well. Moving a bit away from these serious talks, I also want to ask in the end, how do you unwind, sir? Uh, I think spend time with my kids, uh, family, friends. Uh, that's how I uh, go for a nice walk in, in, in the mountains in Sikkim, where I live. Uh, so, yeah. Song and dance? 
Uh, I listen to a uh, lot of song, but I don't <laughs> dance much for sure. <laughs> no, because there was an entertainment category as well. So yeah. uh, you you would have definitely done your own research on on that front True, yes. too. No, but thank you so very much for coming here and talking to us. <laughs>